truckers don't hate that. They normally get 12 miles to the gallon on the highway. Holy cow, it's windy. 12 miles to the gallon in my Jeep, but tailing a trucker like this, I'm up to 17.2 miles to the gallon. I'll take that. I'll tailgate for that. Good morning, y'all. It's Saturday, April 23. First really, really warm day that we have had in a long time. So I'm gonna paint this house. Check it out. So this is just the way that the uh, smart panel comes. Pre-primed, it's kind of a beige color not a fan so i'm gonna change it into the color i want it to be so here we go okay so i went up to lowe's this morning i got the uh flat exterior valspar duramax it's the only one that they had that had that they had enough gallons of paint shortage i guess but i got this uh really cool almost black color uh, I can't remember the name of it let me see if it's in my pocket I might have it no it must be in my coat pocket we'll figure that out later all right that's quite a difference already I've been at this probably an hour maybe an hour and a half so I got all of the high parts rolled and I do need to do a second coat definitely need to do a second coat but then that should do it and uh, I'm gonna go back with a brush and brush all the grooves but yeah I'm gonna get those grooves and uh, I think this is gonna look really nice I like the color just a really dark gray looks really good and then we got the front which is gonna be the dark stain so you can see that I've got the lower half stained already Got to do the upper half and then I'll stain all of the battens before I put those on. But before I put battens on, I got to trim around the window and the door. Yeah, I'm loving it. Tricorn black. That's the color. Yeah. That's the color. Super cool. sort of got like a mohawk going on today that's what you call bedhead yeah so i knew it started with a t tricorn black so you can probably tell from the house and my boat and my jeep gray and black those are my favorite colors so the shed the shed i ended up doing this what i thought was black and it had more blue in it than i thought so I'm gonna repaint the shed to match the house, you know, in my free time. All right, I'm gonna keep going on this. All right, are you ready? Are you ready? Go get it. Hey, get it. Come on, bring it back. Bring it here. Hey, what the heck? Ginger, you're a retriever. You're supposed to retrieve. I just go play. All right, she's thirteen. I'll let her. I'll let it slide. Oh my word! The sun is shining, and I'm in the sun. Not at the moment, but I am working. And it's sixty-six degrees. I gotta put some sun lotion on because my body hasn't felt this warm in a long time. It is stinking hot. I actually got water coming out of my skin. This is the weirdest thing. I don't know what's happening, but I don't want to get a sunburn. And last year I had to have a couple things burned off my face that my doctor didn't like. Probably should have been taking better care of myself for years. But I guess better late than never. So I'm gonna lather up here. I told Michonne she might have to 
pack me in ice today because I am not used to this hot weather being out on the river in the cold every day for the last two months. So I told you this was going to be one of the most epic, exciting videos ever. I mean, you get to watch me put sun lotion on. You get to watch me paint. And maybe I'll even show you the paint dry. So stay tuned. It's coming. Well, that was the most I've sweat since last summer. But it looks really nice. I'm super happy with how it turned out. So once I get all the trim on the corners, around the windows and doors, I'm also going to do trim up along the whole top under the soffit and along the whole bottom but this is all going to be a deck eventually a covered deck so we're going to run a lean to probably eight feet maybe ten feet uh, off of this whole side of the house and that will all be a deck under the lean to so i'm really happy with the color though good thing because i bought five gallons okay it's like april 28th i made it through my busy steelhead season yeah bedhead made it through my busy steelhead season and now i'm back to working on the house a little bit i got a couple weeks that are pretty light before i get into my trout trips so let me show you what i'm doing so i got this side of the house painted but water comes off my roof I don't have gutters because we're gonna do a patio here it comes off my roof and hits the sand and splatters all over the house so what I'm doing over here I went and got some treated two by fours which is uh, how I did just those other temporary decks and I'm gonna do more decks that size all the way across so I should have enough wood to do that now, and that'll keep the sand from splattering all over my nice gray paint. So that's what I'm working on today. Okay, that was a lot of work, but it should be a really good temporary deck until I can save up enough money to do the real deck. And all that wood's recyclable, I can use it for other stuff too. But I'll show you what I did. So, I just built sections. I basically built nine foot sections, except for that little four footer there. Everything else is nine foot long. So it'll give us a nice little short deck. Eventually it's gonna, that's only four feet wide. Eventually it's gonna be eight feet wide out to here with a covered lean-to roof and some nice big posts and beams and it's gonna look really cool but i can't afford that right now and this is all stuff i had so this is gonna do hi ginger so now all i have to do is clean it all off power wash it power wash all that dirt off the house and then i might throw a coat of uh paint on the deck so yeah that's my uh that's my job I've done so far today. Alexa wanted a burger. Some girl in here a burger. Look at this. It's my tiny spatula. Because somewhere deep in the bowels of my shed lies our grill utensils. I don't know where they are. And I haven't found them. But they're in there. But I think I'll show you what I did today. Because I worked really hard. It looks really good. Hang on. So, I did change the, I painted the shed, but that's not what I'm gonna show you. That was a quickie job. But, look at this. I got the back of the house painted. Look at that. Now I'm ready for trim. I'm gonna get the trim cut, stained, and then put it on, and it's gonna look so nice. But yeah, painting the back of the house was my project the day so I haven't really done any more with the front of the house but the weather's finally getting nice enough for me to finish staining the upper half 
and then I can get the door and the window trimmed out. The trim will help hold down that flashing because when the sun hits that flashing, just because it's a thin aluminum, it gets all warpy. So the trim that I do around that will help hold that down. So I got to finish staining all of that, finish the trim, and I ordered a black um, storm door for the front that has the uh, screen or the glass. I don't ever plan on using the glass, but just the screen. But before I can install that, I need to get all of that trim around the doorway that's white painted black. So that's on my agenda for the weekend. And I'm gonna paint the front door black too, but I gotta use a different paint for that. So I don't know if I'll get to that this weekend, probably not. Well, enjoying some time in the woods alone on my mountain bike on uh, the Dragon Trail, which is a trail system uh, really just a mile from my house starting point. It's going to be 47 miles long right now. I think they have 25-ish miles finished, and it's pretty awesome. Really good cross-country trails. It's got some features, some pump, pump sections, and some jump lines. Yeah, it's pretty cool, pretty fun. I've gone about seven miles so far. Now I gotta make my way back out. My legs are kind of jelly, but I gotta get in shape somehow. It's Sunday, May the 1, and it's kind of cruddy outside, raining, sprinkling. Not as nice as it was yesterday, but I did do some stuff. I'll show you. We've had so much rain this spring. Like seriously, it's ridiculous how much rain we've had. And we've actually had some rain coming in the door down there into our house when it rains really hard. So just as a temporary thing, I built that little roof over the doorway. But I'm not trimming this door out or anything yet because this whole side of the house is gonna be the inside of the garage and I have to drywall it for a firewall. So, and speaking of that, uh, I'll tell you that. I'll tell you in a second. Hang on. I got to show you what else I did. So, I told you I was going to paint this door jam black. So, I did that. So, I'm officially ready for that storm door now. And I got to get the door painted too. You think I should do a color? I was thinking I'd just do black or, or maybe a... a like a dark gray or something on the door. I don't know, what do you think? Maybe I should add a little splash of color. So I got a price to build my lean-to and it looks like it's gonna be about 20 grand, not including electric or in-floor heat and stuff like that. But about $20,000 will get me the garage, which I really, really need the garage. I was bored out of my mind without my wood shop and really need a warm place to put my boat to melt the snow, stuff like that. So before fall, I really, really want this garage. So I got to come up with 20 grand. So I either go, go see if I can get a loan. I didn't want to get a loan. I really don't want to get a loan still, but I also really desperately need this garage. Or the other idea, is to sell my off-road camper. Want to see it? It's pretty windy out here. You can probably hear all the wind noise. But this is my pride and joy. I spent, I don't know, 400 hours or something building this camper. And it's awesome. And we haven't even really used it just because we were so busy building a house. But check it out. All built out of, oh, I guess that's locked. All built out of, uh, Kusa board, which is like a urethane with fiberglass matting embedded, so it's completely waterproof. But yeah, it's decked out. And it's pretty stinking awesome. It's got a queen size bed right now. It's got some chairs in it and stuff. It looks messy. But that's my 
off-road go anywhere camper solar powered off-grid uh, awnings spare tire beefy made for total off-road use it's got an onboard hot water shower sink the whole works it's awesome i love it and i don't want to sell it but i think i need the garage more than i need my off-road camper right now so so if i could sell that that would get me the money i need for the garage so if you know anybody it's for sale 20 grand 20 grand it could be yours all right i'm gonna wrap this video up thank you guys for watching i appreciate you for watching my silly videos and stay tuned for the next one it's coming